Yo, what is going on, you filthy fee bass? Today, we're going to be playing some games with the Magikarp Whale Lord GX with the Archie's Choice engine, playing to get off a turn one towering splash GX attack. This is a list super straightforward, super consistent, just playing to get off the eight energy for the towering splash GX on the first turn uh, to do 100 damage to all their bench Pokemon and really just kind of shut the game down from turn one. So let's go, uh, go ahead and get into some games and see if we can't pull it off. Presser it at the very least. Um, this hand is still looking promising though. I probably should have compressed it at the very least in that last hand. That was a mistake There's Lele. I'm hoping they go for Bridget. I'm feeling Bridget here. They should go for it. They should they should go for Bridget here um, Yeah, we're pretty set up um, Our hand is looking pretty good. Oh delinquent. All right Well, I know what deck we're playing against um, I guess I'll keep the trainers now So we're playing against <laughs> Exodia great Peeking red card. Oh no, my trainer's mail. It's going back. All right, order pad is just as good. Top deck, something good, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so we're playing against Exodia, Zoro Zodia, as I like to call it. I definitely should have compressed it on the first turn. All right, I believe in miracles. That's a pretty good miracle. All right, we're set up fine now. We should be good to go. Whoa, this hand stinks. All right. Do we actually have an out here? Actually, wait. Um, I don't think we have it with the current hand. Computer switch away those two. The ultra ball away those two. That doesn't quite get us there. I really should have played that compressor down the first turn. Yikes! All right, computer search. So we'll just keep digging. Get rid of those. Do we have another shaman in here. Okay, we do. I'm just gonna computer search for a compressor and then set up again. I think that's fine. Get rid of that. We already got rid of an Archie's, right? There's an Archie's in here. Archie's is in there. Brilliant. Set up for four. Oh, I could have set up for zero. Oh, we had it. I messed up. <laughs> it's okay. This is a little bit better, actually, that we drew all these extra cards. Wow, how do I do that, man? That's so bad. Who lets me play this game? I could have set up for zero, set up for zero. I almost like digging a little bit deeper here though, because now we can get like compressor for three more water. Uh, check this first. Compressor again, right? So we can do that. Superior. Get rid of this and this. <laughs> I could have set up for zero, set up for zero, and then we had the Archies, didn't we? Gosh, no one leave. Don't tell anyone I made that mistake. All right. Compressor again. We have three of those in here, so we're gonna get rid of this and then double water, and then we'll get rid of one more water energy. There's three in there now. Yeah. So we compressor again. Get rid of like one more water. Guzma. I guess I'll keep the Guzma. Get rid of the Archies. I don't need Skyfield anymore just because of how the the game's going. So I'll go like that. Alright, we got a good chance to get here. That it was nice to dig deep on that actually though, because now we uh our deck is like super thin. Um, hopefully get access to that last shaman and then that will lead to the GX attack or I might just get it here. No, not quite um, So egg Get rid of the egg Get the unknown um, Choice band is cool I'm down to keep the choice band And then we need we need a little bit more. We're gonna use this. I almost just want to get rid of that. Actually, could just go like this. I could have known first. No, that's bad. Yeah, we're gonna go like this. I'm like all over the place on this one, guys. I apologize. Get rid of these two, Shaman, and we should get one of the one of the uh, superior energy retrievals, and then we're good to go. And there's three in there. There's like a trainer's mail or two. We're almost we're leaving our deck with like zero cards here. I have a. I'm pretty confident we're gonna gonna be able to pull it off here. We're drawing seven cards out of a 15 card deck. Like what? Easy. Yes. 
Yeah, <laughs> not even hard. They can combo us again next turn, which is kind of scary. So we kind of want to keep as many cards as possible. Get all four of these. Boop, 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 boop. Um, we definitely want to leave the unknown in play for that reason as well. Oh, and there's the concession from our opponent. Oh, you guys saw it. We got the setup. We we're going to sweep. There's a Ruas, and then from there they have no draw power, and we take game one pretty easy, exactly how we wanted to. Easy first win. All right, I think we're set up very well here with another turn one. Archies. I don't think they can do anything about it either. Looking good. Looking good. Looking very good. <sighs> oh, no. It's the Bulu. Does that matter? That matters a little bit. We are weak to grass, but we will be able to KO all their Grubbins on turn one. Oh, oh, put out a ton of Grubbins, bro. Just grab four Grubbins. Okay, three's enough. We're going to KO three Grubbins this turn. Just watch. Just wait and watch. All right, we got the turn one Archies easy. That's the easy part with this hand. Oh, no, it just got hard. No, we can bench the egg. Ah, but benching egg sucks, man. Sometimes you gotta bench some eggs. Get rid of that squad. Ultra Ball. And this is why the unknown is so good. I'm about to show you guys here right on this play. Like, there's nothing good to grab here. Oh, wait, but the unknown. We should have got rid of one less Blastoise, one of those. Um, so we get to grab the unknown here, and it becomes like a free card draw. Like, there's nothing really good to grab there, because, like... We don't really need a second whale in play. So Ultra Balling for Whale like isn't that good there. Because we'd rather potentially fill up our bench with shamans. To get ooh, ooh, it's looking good, looking good. Ooh, no, it's looking not that good. But it could look good. Depending on what the unknowns draw. I think we had plenty of energy in there. So another one. Alright, so it all comes down to these unknowns. I could treasure away this. To get the shame the Lele out of the deck. I may as well do that, actually. It digs one card deeper. It's one less card I can draw. All right, here we go. It's all on these unknowns. At the very least, we can knock out his active, I guess. But that's not very good when they're just going to one-shot us back. Oh, no, not another Via Seeker. Come on, something good. There we go. Give me a heads. Ah, that's not good. That's not good. All right, we're going to go for the knockout and hope for the best now. Plans have changed. <laughs> don't, don't hurt us, Bulu, please. We could just go like back-to-back -back KOs on Bulu, and then maybe they can't set up a third Bulu. That's reasonable, right? Um, sheesh, man. I was really hoping for a little bit better there. I'm just kind of feeling... I'm feeling let down after that one. I didn't get rid of Kingdra either, so we can't like <laughs> Archie's out the uh, Kingdra next turn. That's fine. We're fine. We're chilling. Um, so they might one-shot us next turn. It's okay, though. I mean, not really, but I don't really have a choice. I can't say it's not okay, because I don't have a choice at this point. I have to be okay with if they one shot us. I just have to kind of be okay with it. Um, really hoping for the yeah. We just kind of drew garbage off of the Archies. That's kind of what what happened there. And I don't actually remember if we have the Tate and Liza in the deck when I went through. I don't think so. I would have discarded. I think with the comfort. No, I never had a chance to discard. So I think Tate and Liza is actually in the deck. All right, they have their own Lele here. It's gonna be for probably a Juniper. I mean, it's been a while since I played against a Bulu deck. Yeah, Sycamore it is, or Sycamore, that's what I meant to say. Um, so here we go, Sycamore. Do they get the oh-so-necessary candy, whatever it's called? Looks like not yet. Take 30 less hit. Oh my gosh, we're just going to sweep his grubbins now. Easy game. Oh my gosh, please let Tate and Liza be in here. <laughs> what the heck? All right, we're just going to do a Tate and Liza maneuver here. What the heck? What the heck? <coughs> and I'm sure our opponent will be scooping here after we hit him with the Towering Splash GX. I don't think anyone wants to stick around for that. For after that. The aftermath. Oh no. Oh yes. Get the egg back. I don't think we ever... Oh no, we might want Choice Man to KO this. I'm actually gonna get rid of these because I don't think I ever need Kingdra or to Archie again, so. Yeah, I don't really need to Archie again. Like, he has to deal with this. And we have ways to move this, so it's like not like he can trap it. Yeah, so we're gonna go Towering Splash GX, draw three prizes. I expect our opponent to scoop. I would scoop if I was him. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do after that? You lose all your Grubbins, you didn't get out of Vika Vault, but that's how this deck works. The deck is super consistent at getting out the Towering Splash, and then you kinda just win. 
Like, if, if it happens like this, which it happens a lot like this, we saw this in the first game, got it set up in the first game, our opponent didn't let us pull it off, but whatever. Got it here in the second game. We just win. They can't do anything. The deck is super consistent at doing that, which we're seeing here. Just that's it. That's game. Concede. I mean, I mean, he, if he wants to, he doesn't have to. I'd recommend it at this point. I don't think uh, he can win. But to each their own. Towering splash is just uh, just too good. No one's running Mr. Mime right now, so we don't have to be scared of it. He catches the grass. <laughs> that's not it, bud. That's not it. <clears throat> he's thinking about it. All right, he's going to stick it out, even though he lost all of his grubbin. It's super unfortunate we didn't get all the grub. I was, like, really looking forward to KOing all three of those grubbins turn one. But then we just hit that, like, kind of a brick off of the Archies, which can sometimes happen. Um, usually it doesn't. Usually you, you pull through. Um, you just need, like, one shaman to get rolling, and then you kind of just start rolling everything from there. And then it rolls into something else, and then you just, it just goes from there. He's gonna need a miracle. I don't even. I don't think. Actually, think there's actually anything that exists in his deck that could actually stop us from winning the game. But I would be like interested to see if there was. It would have to be something like a max elixir plus a way to retreat. Yeah, he has to retreat to like this new Bulu now. Yeah, but then we have the choice band. I think we just KO. This is what thirty less. This is thirty more. That's it. That's game. We take a second one really quickly once again. But that's what this deck does. Um, you either don't get Archies and you lose, or you get Archies and then they lose on literally like the next turn. There's nothing they can do about it. Alright. Three in a row. I believe we can do it. I think we can we can do three in a row here. <clears throat> Ugh, the Lele start though. Ah. Ugh. Alright, it's whatever, it's whatever. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. You hate to see it though, you hate to see it. Alright. See what our opponent's like. We don't have to be super aggressive because we're uh, going first. Check the order pad. It's good. Here we go. Um, I think I actually want to go. Computer search for Archies or Via Seeker for an Archies. I think computer search for Archies is just better, right? I think so. I don't know. We're doing it. Let's get it. Want to thin out as much as possible. Looks good to me. Professor's letter. Yeah, I think we're just super thin here. I think I think it's just the best way to do it. You know, I don't know sometimes, guys. I'm, I get lost. The unknown. Again. So we are up against a Galissapod deck, which is a little worrying, but I'm not too scared of it. We have two eggs in here, right? Yeah. Ultra Ball again. Boom, boom. Whale Lord. If we just sweep their board on the turn one. We're still good to go, I think. Boom. I think. I think so. So if I go with the Battle Compressor away, the Archie. I feel like the problem I run into then is that uh, it just doesn't feel great, man. But this for just getting an Archie feels way better. I don't know, but maybe I don't need that because I would lose like a Via Seeker if I do the comp Battle Compressor route. But this just gets the raw Archie. But then I don't have Computer Search. I don't know. It feels, it feels. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, guys? I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. How many water do we have in here? Just one. I'm down to ditch three more. Oh no, because I have one on my active. Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, don't do that. Because, like, you, there's no float zone or anything in this list. So, don't do what I just did there. Uh, remember that you're retreating one energy off your Lele. And then get rid of one less. Yeah, don't be me. Be uh, be a little bit smarter. I make that mistake all the, all the time with this deck. Like, I forget about the energy that's on my Lele or whatever I started with. If I don't start with a Whale Lord, it usually has one retreat. It's usually a Shaman, Unknown, or Lele. Or it has to be. Yeah, it has to be. Or an Egg. And then I forget that if I don't have an energy there yet. Or I do have an energy, I forget that it's there. But even if you don't have an energy there yet, there's one has to come off it at some point. So just just remember that. The crushing hammer. What? This man's crazy. Control pod? Well, I never. Alright, so he's got the Lele. Let's see if it goes for that Bridget. I hope it goes for a Bridget. We're always hoping it goes for a Bridget, because that like sets us up really well to just GX knock everything out. So we're hoping it goes for Bridget. 
because uh, I think we just win if it goes for Bridget. Uh, we could set up the Kingdra next turn, which is super good, I think. We will we'll be super good in this matchup, so I think we're going to go for that. There's the Bridget. Yes, let's go. Do it, man. Bridget. Not even, it's not even bad, bro. Yeah, so we'll go for the Kingdra, I think, because then that, that allows us to just, like, one-shot anything, potentially, with the King. Let's see what the Transmail grabs us. Hopefully, like, a Ultra Ball or Superior Energy Retrieval to get rid of the Shaman. So he's playing the Poor Man's Wimpod. Uh, but it doesn't have an ability, which can be nice sometimes. Oh, and he attached to the Bench Wimpod. Probably should have attached to the Active, but I don't think he knows what's coming, so. That's, uh, you can't blame him too much. Check the mail now. It's good. I don't think the second unknown is in here, but we'll find out in just a second. Doot doot. Nope. Goodbye. Yeah, so we're just gonna go with the second Archie's here. Get out the Kingdra. Just start. Give ourselves the opportunity to just start one shot and stuff with it. Yeah, so I I, I overextended one energy, which you don't want to do. Don't do what I did, once again. Um Then we just do the order pad first, because this just gets it. Okay, didn't. Now we check the trainer's mail. Okay. So I guess we have this shame and stuff. There's four superior in there. I'm gonna be only a little annoyed if we whiff. Alright, set up for four first. I guess I could have gone with the unknown. The unknown size has like a safety. There you are, you bugger. Um, thinking about keeping the Ultra Ball so I can get another. Yeah, we could go like superior, get rid of the Guzma and this in case we get end, then we still have access to Guzma. There are the four. Same thing, like, boom. Easy. Three games in a row. Not even hard. This deck is ridiculous. I actually love this deck, it is so fun. <laughs> It is so fun to play. It is fast, relentless. People can't handle it. Um, it's insane. There it is. There's the concede, and that's it, guys. I mean, there's not much to show you past the first couple turns. They know what's coming. I know what's coming. You guys now know what's coming. Give this deck a try, man. Super fun. As long as you have your hands on some Whale Lord Magikarp GXs, try it out. That's going to do it for this video. It's short because we win so fast. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you're enjoying